soon y'all be coming with the rise of the end, raps new year. Y'all y'all believe this nigga? Bro, like, like I don't like how y'all comparing my nigga to Ye. Like, 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 like he is he his own person, my nigga. He he hard as hell, but this nigga ain't missed yet. Like his rise though, like like his rise compared to is kind of similar. I ain't gonna lie, but these bro, them niggas, them niggas coming up right in right now. That nigga is in his. Yuffy, boy, that boy different. Let's go ahead and get to be with new people, new subscribers. Uh. For L, what we have been witnessing for the artists we're going to be talking today has been one of those things that's kind of been crazy, to say the least. In the underground, we have not experienced growth this fast since Ken Carson and Yee. And numbers-wise, this is genuine. And four bats, can't forget about four bats, that nigga. That nigga, boy, what? It's only been the craziest come up oh, that rapper. we've seen in a minute. Now, of course, there's catches to this person's come up, and things aren't as they seem, to say the least. But yeah. the rise of Ian is something that we have to talk about and discuss because it's been one of those yeah, that things nigga. that have literally happened so fast that I damn near blinked, and this dude was the biggest artist in the underground. He might as well be out of the underground because he's performing like one million plays in like two days, three damn. days. So, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That now, he's Ian there. is a rapper that you've probably seen by now, all right? He's known as the new Yeet, if you want to say. Say so now, um, of course, he'll never be Yeet because Yeet is just, uh, I mean, you don't get Yeet. Bro, once Ian finds something like the bell, if Ian finds something like that damn bell, boom, but like to this day, get busy still ma like makes me shake in my body. Like, but he's like, like when he was like, this song already turned, but here's the bell, boom, boom. But that, oh my, oh, bro, to this day. This day, I'm still shaking in my boots. My nigga, what? Pretty often, but his come up in success and his that sound so is very remnant of Yeats. Now, his sound itself with the beats does not remind what me of Yeats, but a lot of people say his cadence. I don't really hear the comparison, but I see what people are talking about, and I do understand what they can, where they could be coming from. There is certain things that definitely do remind me of Yeats, and that were definitely taken from Yeat to boost his own career. But let's get into the Ian lore and from where this all began. Let's okay. talk about the rise of Ian. Now, Ian or Ian Smith is a rapper who, once again, his taking over the underground in the matter of a month. And while Ian first started getting buzzed when he dropped the snippet to his most popular song called Ian Figure It Out, which head. I'm gonna play. Is he in his door? This was a trailer that absolutely went viral, mega viral, because the dude was making this song that sounded really good, but if you look at his player bill, you think this nigga's a frat dude. He Yo, does not look like he's making a hard-ass rap song that's gonna get the party hype, get niggas bumping their head. Like, you oh wouldn't think God. that would be the case, but looking at Ian, but looking at Ian at the time, you literally were shocked. Like, you were like, what the hell is this contract? So, he started buzzing off this. He started getting people like Bronny James, Tana, what? Can Can tuning in, I and so much so that he even made another IG reel in which he addressed Bronny James following him and being tapped in. And Bronny James ended up following Ian. What? Bronny James, I see you. Thought you'd be just lurking my page and I wouldn't say anything about it. <laughs> I thought you could be a mysterious one of these boys. That nigga voice actually deep as shit. What the fuck? Wait a minute, my nigga. Wait, 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 wait. Like, this is my first time actually hearing this nigga voice. Hey, brother James, I, I see, I see you looking at my page, my brother. Hey, 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 stop playing and run these ones. Nigga, what the fuck, nigga? This nigga deep ass motherfucker boy, what the fuck? Ronnie James, I see you. Ronnie James, I see you. I thought you could just lurk on my page and I wouldn't say anything about it. I wouldn't say nothing. I thought you could be mysterious and run these ones. <laughs> and he can play basketball too? What can't they, what can't this nigga do? And he got a jump. Oh shit, there it is. Jokic? from the beginning started bringing buzz hard. around <laughs> Ian's name because Bronny James has tapped in with the underground and knows a hell of a lot of people in the underground that are artists and listens to it. He was very early on with Yeet as well. So if Bronny's tapped in, then people are definitely going to start paying attention. And that's mm. exactly what they did. They started to pay attention to Ian and well, it's just been up ever since. Now, after Bronny James tapping in, Ian started dropping more and more snippets and he dropped the snippet to his song Grand Slam, which started bringing a lot of traction. And over that time period, after he 
got the Bronny cosign, you would just start to see him pop up everywhere. He would be on rap, the Instagram page, and you would just see him being pushed like it was no tomorrow. Like niggas were really trying to get you to tap into Ian. And I started listening and really enjoying what he was putting out there at the time. Now fast forward a month after the Bronny cosign, like a month and a half, he ends up dropping the music video for his song Grand Slam and also Whoa. dropping the song. The song goes absolutely viral, gets like 100k plays on SoundCloud in the first day or 200 or something like that. And it's been viral ever since. It now has 3 million streams, I think. Damn. The music video's at a million views. He had OT7 Kwani. He linked with OT7 Kwani. He was in the vid. You had Southside in the vid. Everybody you could think of was around his nigga Ian for this music video. And this did nothing but make him go more viral because what is a white kid doing around OT7 Kwani and Southside? Does it make sense, does it? And that's exactly what happened. It started going viral on TikTok. I and once Grand video. Slam dropped, I feel like Ian just got even more viral. And that started to build this hype up for people wanting him to drop more. They wanted him to drop a project and Ian just consistently started previewing snippets. He dropped one of his snippets that his now ended up being on his project uh -huh. that he dropped. And that song has never stopped. I'm going to play that. that Bro, I ain't going to cap y'all. Bro, Ian do remind me of this nigga. Right like now, I think about it. This nigga just can't. If he finds something like that, damn, bail. Y'all don't understand what that bail like do to my soul, bro. If he finds something like that bail, y'all... It, it, it's over, my nigga. It's over. But like, ye unreleased. Like, if y'all go to ye unreleased, my that is boy. Well, I hate, bro. You know one thing I hate about unreleased. The, the, those be the best. Like, those literally be the best artist songs. Like, they, they literally be the best songs that don't be released, and it, it be pissing me. Like, what? I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. No, 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 no. Cause little Uzi, little Uzi, ye, your boy, little baby. Like, I could, I could go on. Like, like they. All of they unreleased is like some of their best songs ever created and they just ain't released it. That snippet as well, I'm gonna play that trailer. <laughs> And that sound. went viral. Like everybody, he, he don't look how he sound. Like what the fuck? Like it, it, it's kind of how four bad. It, like it, th it throws you off. Like. Drastically. Waiting for that. Like, the snippet literally got 100k views on YouTube. A picture of Ian in the snippet got 100k views in, like, a week. Because people wow. wanted this song. It went viral. So, he was building the hype for his project with that. Then, he also had another snippet he dropped called Airbnb, oh, which ended up being on his project we're going to talk about in a second. And that just built hype. So, people were ready for a project. And literally, two days ago, Friday, Ian dropped his project. We titled Valedictorian. Now, the cover art for this went viral. He pulled the play and made the cover art a well-known meme in the white community. Because he's a white dude, all right? He a white dude. What better way to go viral than to play into a exactly. meme about you being white? So he did that for his cover art. This oh. went viral, all right? And this brought so much hype around him announcing this album. Like, the cover art itself brought so much damn people mm. talking about it. And the announcement for the album got 100K likes in an hour, damn. bro. Like, this dude went from literally a nobody in the span of a month to one of the biggest dude, artists. Bro, stop. Stop seeing people nobody. Just because they ain't got, like, no cloud and shit on me, no nobody. I hate, like... I mean, I understand what you mean, like nobody to like like everybody, but nigga, they still somebody for the fame. Man. It's in the underground, like literally going out of the underground before. at this point. He's not even underground. Okay, uh, let's have this quick discussion, bro. Do y'all think like like your success makes you like like valid, or are you valid before the success? Because before the success, you was already working to get the um the success. Like you was already working, so like you're somebody there. Like why are you working towards it? Or like, do you think, like once you get this, like, okay, now you valid, like you somebody. 
Y'all let me know. Yeah. He right, ends up announcing. He ends up announcing a project the day before, and the next day he ends up dropping it, and it goes fucking viral. Like he already has songs with a million plays on this project. It's been out for two days. Right? He's already He's charting tough. number four or number three for the hottest projects on Apple Music alone. And I don't know, bro. With these streams, he might genuinely sell like 10k, which is crazy to say. But this is genuinely the craziest number performance we've seen since Ye. Now that comes with the catch. As much as I like Ian's music, and um, as much as as much as I've debated with many unks about why Ian actually makes good music and yeah. his industry connections shouldn't invalidate his music and him cat rapping Millie. Let me explain the thing with Ian that people may not know, but a lot of people do know. And Ian is a hundred percent, maybe not an industry plant if you don't like to use that word, but he's definitely well connected and that's got him to where he is today. Mm. Now Ian is very publicly known to be associated with four bats management and heavy hitters when I it comes that. to managers who have all these connections and all that these opportunities so to sense. make a star. All right, and that's what's happened with Ian. He's used his management and he's had he has his management and used it to his advantage. He's become a superstar in a matter matter of a month from using this management to his advantage. He's publicly proven to be connected with Four Bats management. Um, Four Bats management follows Ian, and Ian is one of the only other rappers that he follows. Like it's it's quite frankly wow. obvious that you are not gonna follow somebody you don't work with, especially if they're an underground rapper who had like a hundred k monthly listeners at the time. And more things have come out to prove that they work together. But Ian is publicly known think, to have a label. Y'all think Four Bats ever gonna rap like? Oh, he just gonna keep to the scene. Backing him, he's with Columbia. It's been under his Spotify. It was under his Spotify when he first dropped Grand Slam. You could see it in the credits, but since then it's been changed to Dog Dog Records, which I think is supposed to be a cover up for the fact that this nigga is signed to a major label. I think they were trying to do this, trying to hide dog, the fact dog, that he's actually records, working with a big team. Um, uh -huh. because it was Columbia for a long time, but like I said, if you go and check now, it says it's put out his projects and his music's put out through Dog Dog Records, which is just some random ass Instagram page with 100 followers. It's literally not even a label but um mm. yeah ian has a team behind him which explains his performance now here's the thing i had a debate a few days ago with one of my good friends king mill the a god and i can say while ian does have connections you cannot deny the fact that he is genuinely one of good. the most talked about rappers coming Music up right now like, yeah. there's millions of people talking about him and there's millions of people tuning in i don't think ian is spotting his plays or i don't yeah, think no. he's doing any of that but i think he's definitely using his image to his advantage and spamming the hell out of marketing because there's genuinely people all over that I know personally in my personal life that just know Ian like they just know who he is and they've listened to his music and fuck with him also when I say I think he's spamming marketing I mean for his team like he's having that budget be used on mostly marketing because Smart the man. production doesn't sound like he got a crazy engineer to hop on these tracks and but let's be honest do you really need it does he really need it like I like already the music slapping my niggas booming like if you get in your car like I told y'all on the um um, album reaction, my nigga, get in your car, get in, get some real good speakers and listen to that motherfucker, that bitch slap, oh my god, that shit, boy, that shit, one of the hardest shit I've never heard. Okay. and start mastering them and anything like that it really just sounds like he made them off of his fl studio and did the mixing himself but they really do sound good though for what he did but i think he's spending a lot of his budget with whatever label he's with on marketing that's what i meant now by the way i'm not meaning he's doing the marketing ian is definitely going to be an interesting case though for sure and to see him develop is going to be interesting because ian to me is the industry's version of ye i'm going to put it as best as i can mm. no he's not nearly as generational as ye is going to be because ye is just one of those artists who you don't really come across he's like a cardi like he yeah. blew up and he's just gonna be so legendary and have that fan base that people are gonna always love you ian isn't quite there yet he will he ever song get to that status man, i don't know i don't know what that? he's gonna turn into but i will say this when i from, he is so crazy because he had a song with the means and people was pulling up to the movie theater just for the heat, the heat song, bro. I'm telling you, is a dip, bro. The is different. Say Ian is the industry's version of E. I mean, this is the industry's chance at getting an artist who has the same fan base that Yeet had with their own terms. So they can control what he does. They can control the things he talks about and kind of control the narrative behind him. Mm. With Yeet, Yeet came up by being Yeet. He blew up organically. Like, we've seen Yeet's come yeah, up. I feel like Ian is the industry's version of that. They're trying to get this artist to back that is literally like Yeet-level popularity that 
they can push to that type of fame, get him that type of connection, but it's something they created. So they can make the decision to kill his career, push his career, halt it. They have the control over Ian. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. While Yeet, they can't really do that. Yeet is his own force. Yeet is literally the biggest artist to come out of the underground in the last five years since the 2016 wave that we saw with all the legends. Like Yeet is the biggest to come out, him and Ken Carson. So that's what Ian is to me. That's what I look at Ian as. He's just literally that force that the industry's trying to push. Now, Ian did get dissed by Yeet, funny enough, really? that people are saying last night. So this video is kind of in crazy timing. It all works perfectly. To see how Ian's going to play out is going to be interesting. I'm going to predict that Ian is going to become a figure somewhat like Jack Harlow. He's going to be this big white boy in the music industry who's mm. mainstream, who just has that type of push. And he's a, known as a big rapper. And people are going to fuck with him. All the white hoes going to be fucking with him. Even the black people going to fuck with him. Because I love Jack Harlow's music. He's cool, man. I, I, fuck with his, I fuck with He's cool. I fuck with his music. I, I appreciate it and I enjoy it. He's very good at the... I'm not a Jack Harlow listener. But I know people who be listening to Jack Harlow. But like, me personally, that, that's just not my forte. Like, that, that's no diss to him. It's just like, nigga, I don't, I'm not a person who listen to rap anyway, but... Like, niggas like he, he in and Playboy Card and Lil Uzi and all the niggas, that's the type of people I listen to the art he create and i feel like people discredit ian because he's a white boy as well who seems like he's hopping in the industry he knows nothing about but he could really rap and i think he proved himself to a lot of people and me this For project sure. that he dropped of course people have been saying it's repetitive because it was the same couple songs that had the same vibe to it and sound but that's perfect i don't, I don't think, think he should have so. dropped the rock album or anything crazy versatile because he has to continue on a hype train for right now and then he can gradually switch over so it doesn't kill his career but overall ian has the wave right now and it's undeniable um, I was at his LA pop out. It was crazy. One of my homies, Eli, ended up hosting the event. Shout out Eli if you're watching. He hosted the event. It was crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I'ma play some footage. I have some unreleased exclusive footage. It's like 14 minutes of pure footage. You can see this wave that Ian has created or that his team has created, if you want to say. But it was crazy. Mm -hmm. We were there on the front lines. 4L, we were there. So I'ma play the footage. I'ma let y'all see this for yourselves. This is exclusive okay, footage. Nobody else is gonna get this. So enjoy it, 4L. Um, this is crazy though. It's just the rise of Ian. It's been crazy. We're gonna see where he goes. And I love y'all. Oh, what are they recording? VHS? I don't care about the first. Hold on. I got. Bro, I know this footage. Hey, this nigga got. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. My nigga. The rest of the, the, rest of the video is the footage, my nigga? Nah, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Man, this nigga trying to have, what the fuck? This nigga trying to, hey, I respect it though. This peak, listen, 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 listen. There's no, this, this is no disrespect to Ian. I'm not finna sit here 14 minutes for this, man. Hey, hey, I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all boys and girls next video. We out. Oh,